Hey everybody, Mike Roof Doctors here out here in the Berkeley, California area today. Around, we're going to talk real quick about uh, valleys and a couple different issues that we have on this roof. So uh, you can see here where the valley comes together, uh, where the two gables or facets meet. Obviously valleys are meant to catch all that drainage and let it run down to the rain gutter. Now in this case the overlap wasn't done quite right. And so that's where you get this buckling, where the shingles are wanting to kind of fold up and, and wrinkle and buckle on you here. Now, also with this valley, the cut was done slightly off center, which is normal, um, but they didn't use what's called a bleeder course. And you can see here that these shingles at the overlap just very, very easily lift up. Um, and that's not what we want. We don't want water wicking up underneath there and getting in. So. This valley here is gonna have to be corrected. We're gonna have to get that buckle out of there and get it roofed correctly. Valley on this side here up front looks pretty good, okay? We don't have that issue. We are gonna to wanna to reseal the overlap just to make sure those shingles are sealed down well. Um, but then we're gonna to move to the back here and it looks like we may have had an addition or possibly a previous leak or a previous issue. Now the shadow's not gonna work with me here, but you'll be able to see that this valley was not done the same way. And they attempted to do what's called a woven valley or a laced valley, where the shingles will literally lace together, but they didn't do that. They simply just laid the shingles from one side of the roof right over the top of the other shingles here. And as the water runs down this valley, it's gonna get trapped up underneath these shingles all the way down and that'll certainly cause a leak at some point. Sooner or later, it's gonna wear through that underlayment. So uh, we've got a couple different issues with the valleys and uh, a couple different ways they need to be corrected. And then you can see here at the top where they tried to tie into some older shingles and cause some damage there that we need to correct. So, um, you know, all uh, normal stuff in the realm of roof repair. This is why we come out and do these inspections so we can identify what roof repair is needed. Uh, try and save people from getting a roof replacement when it's not necessary and uh, Just give a better idea of the overall condition Real quick this guy here run into these once in a while. This is a uh, converted flashing most often when you see these it's because they uh, converted to a high efficiency water heater and Rather than getting the proper flashing for it They convert these and so the pipe that's coming out of the top here is going to be for exhaust and then here is where the intake comes in. So you've got intake and exhaust all in one flashing. And if the airflow isn't right, you can actually uh, trigger a alarm in those units and it'll shut the unit down. So if there's ever an issue with any system like that, we usually refer to the HVAC or water heater technician um, that installed it. So that's it for today. We're gonna get these valleys corrected and uh, get on to the next one. So thanks for joining me. We'll, we'll see you again soon.